In the depths of the sky wanders light Silent in its journey through the endless night Greetings Comet Chasers. September finds us anticipating the appearance of C2023A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas, which is set to make its main appearance next month. This comet has been on people's minds since its discovery in January 2023, when it quickly became apparent that it had the potential to become very bright at perihelion, its closest point to the sun. Even then, this was controversial, with many long-time comet observers tempering the growing expectations. Controversy has followed this comet on its slow trajectory toward the sun. Its brightening slowed a bit last fall, and some were quick to suggest that it was fizzling out. It soon recovered, just as most expected it would. Last month, we dedicated some time to the debate that has raged in the comet community after a leading researcher predicted that the comet would disintegrate prior to perihelion. While Greg Crinklaw, the astronomer behind this channel, doesn't put much stock in this prediction, it's a reminder that any comet can disintegrate at any time. Despite all of this controversy, C2023A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas steadfastly continues to brighten normally. Greg and I had a long discussion about comet expectations recently, and I'd like to address the topic here. Greg told me about many of the amazing things he has seen as a long-time watcher of the skies. For example, he shared his memory of comet I. Ras Araki Alcock, which passed very close to the Earth, appearing like a large fuzzy ball in the sky to the naked eye. But in the telescope, it was moving so fast that you could actually see it move in the eyepiece, something that Greg has never seen since. At the time, Greg had never even heard of this comet. His friends asked if he'd like to come along, and he jumped in the car with them, having zero expectations. Greg also shared his experience with Comet hale -Bopp, which he remembers as hanging in the sunset sky of San Diego for months. He'd be walking the dog, and there it was. He'd turn a corner on the freeway, and there it was, in his windshield. He vividly remembers being at a college football game, watching it slowly sink into the horizon from the stands. It always brought with it a smile. And he told me of his experience with Comet Hayakutake, where he was lucky enough to see it on one of the clearest nights he had ever seen, from a mountain location, with a sky so dark that the tail of the comet stretched most of the way across the sky. It was literally unforgettable. What he doesn't remember is having any expectations. He was one of the first people to track down hale Bop in a telescope, soon after its discovery, and of course, it was just a little fuzzball. Even then, what he remembers was how cool it was that he could find it, and he did not dwell at all on what it might one day become. He also recalls Comet Halley in 1986, when people were so convinced it would be a spectacular sight that they drove to the mountains in the middle of the night hoping to catch a glimpse before sunrise. When clouds obscured the view, some grew upset, even angry at the volunteers who had set up telescopes for them. To this day, some of Greg's friends are still bitter about the experience. It saddens him because much of the disappointment stemmed from unrealistic expectations. Comet experts have since described Halley as a mediocre comet, overshadowed by the hype, Yet it's a reminder that expectations often lead to unnecessary dissatisfaction. Greg believes that letting go of such expectations, whether with comets or in life, can lead to a much happier experience. Greg's fondest comet memory was after working all night doing astronomy with a professional telescope. He shut everything down, closed the dome, and went to a rock outcrop with a view to the east. And from that rock, where he sat all alone, he saw a smudge of light rise ahead of the sun. Soon he could see a little tail, and as the sky brightened, the sunrise colors overtook this disappointing little smudge of light, this comet that had somehow upset so many people. It was Comet Halley and the quiet serenity of that morning, alone, on top of a mountain, after a long, satisfying night of work, has never left him. Greg reflected on this idea further, realizing that some of his most cherished comet memories were remarkable, precisely because they exceeded his lack of expectations. 
when he saw Comet Iras Araki Alcock move visibly through the eyepiece, or witnessed the breathtaking clarity of Hayakutake's tail stretching across the night sky, it was the surprise of the experience that made it so special. It was the very absence of anticipation that allowed these moments to stand out. Without the burden of expectation, the wonder and spectacle of these comets felt like a gift, something unexpected and therefore all the more extraordinary. Greg shared this insight with me. Comets are wonderful, even magical, but only if we allow them to be. That means embracing them for what they are, without imposing our own expectations. These expectations are of our own making, often fueled by a desire for spectacle or by sensationalized stories. But in truth, a comet's wonder lies in its quiet, unassuming presence, not in the spectacle we might imagine. Greg says that even after all that, and many more comets since, he's never seen a spectacular comet, just fuzzy smudges of light with hazy tails. But that's exactly what makes them special. If we spend our time waiting for a so-called spectacular comet, we miss out on the quiet wonder that all comets can offer, even telescopic ones. It's in embracing these fuzzy blobs of light, rather than measuring them against grand expectations, that we uncover their true wonder. Because that wonder isn't found in the sky, it's created in our minds. Let's turn our attention to viewing C2023A3 Suchinshan Atlas. From the Northern Hemisphere, it is on track to be a very nice binocular comet in October, appearing high in a dark sky during the evening. This is the expected view on October 20th, as seen from 40 degrees north. Note how close it is to a bright star, which should make it easy to find. Greg anticipates that it will look impressive in images, likely with a long tail. As mentioned earlier, it could disintegrate, but it also could become much brighter than expected. Either way, it's going to be exciting to watch. In September, those in the Southern Hemisphere will have the opportunity to view the comet in the mornings after September 15th. To spot it, look almost due east before sunrise. You'll need a very clear view of the horizon. Start around 4.50 a.m., possibly a bit earlier, depending on time zone variations. Be patient. The comet will rise as the sky begins to brighten. Use binoculars or a small telescope with the widest field eyepiece to scan low in the east. At its best, it will be about 10 degrees above the horizon. Holding your fist out at arm's length covers about 10 degrees. Each morning, start a little earlier. The comet will rise higher each day, allowing for an easier view, and by the 22nd, it should be easily visible in standard binoculars it is possible that it may be bright enough to be seen with the unaided eye. If you spot it with binoculars, try fixing your eyes on the comet, and then, without moving your eyes, lower the binoculars. Look for a fuzzy spot. If you see it, congratulations. Be sure to share your observation in the comments. As we await Comet C2023A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas, it's still possible to get a final look at Comet 13P Olbers early in September. It should be visible in binoculars and small telescopes until the 7th, as seen from the northern hemisphere and equatorial latitudes. Look for it low in the western sky after sunset, moving to the south each night, below the bright star Arcturus. Observers in the southern hemisphere will have a few extra days, with visibility lasting until the 13th, and then again on the morning of the 19th. It will remain visible after this, but only in larger telescopes. Well, that's it for now. We will see you next month for more comet chasing unless there is something big to report sooner. Clear skies and happy comet chasing, everyone.